Novak Djokovic won his 21st Grand Slam last month at Wimbledon. Novak Djokovic's coach Gorani Venisvic has revealed that his prediction regarding his player, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer is coming true. Djokovic landed the 21st major title of his career last month, beating Nick Kyrgios at Wimbledon. The victory cemented the Serbian as one of the all-time greats as he leapfrogged Federer, who has 20 Grand Slams to his name. Federer underwent a third round of knee surgery last year which has kept him sidelined. Nadal still sits at the top of the pile, with 22 major tournament victories over the course of his career. This wave of unbelievable talent and the tennis sphere all at once would appear a coincidence on the surface, but it has come as no shock to Ivanisvic. Djokovic's coach has revealed that he always believed that his player and Nadal would surpass Federer's record. He told Slobodna Dalmatia, if someone had said 10 years ago that both of them would surpass Federer, they would not have believed it even before I was in the team, I said that both Novak and Nadal would have more Grand Slam titles than Roger, and now it is coming true. It's hard to say how much he will have in the end. One factor that will affect how many titles Djokovic will win in his career is his vaccine status, with his unwillingness to be vaccinated meaning that he is unable to enter some countries. The 35-year-old was handed a ban from Australia recently after traveling to the country without receiving his jabs. Ivanisvic continued, they are denying him the US Open now. Australia is good news that the mandatory vaccination has been waived, but the government has to forgive him the three-year sentence. That might be okay. Australia's Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, has hinted that Djokovic's ban could be reduced or waived in the future, but only if a compelling reason is provided. Morrison told radio station 2 Gigabytes, the ban does go over a three-year period, but there is the opportunity for them to return in the right circumstances and that would be considered at the time. It remains to be seen how the overall rankings play out over the coming years, and whether Federer is able to reclaim his rank as the best ever once he returns to the court. Though Djokovic and Nadal will certainly have something to say about it, especially considering they are a few years younger than the 40.